Be prepared for highly offensive language from the start and throughout. Aggressive confrontations and outbursts that may distress some viewers. Day 20! Stacy's in a spin. You can't come take somebody's shit out of the wash machine, put it on the floor, and put your stuff in. If you won't shut your great big flapper, I can say nothing to you. You'd make a wonderful town crier. It's schizophrenic, two personality bitch. As the Americans say, you're two tomatoes short of a salad, girl. Nominations are revealed. She's a little two-faced, condescending. I'm down like a yo-yo. Fake, I'm playing a game. Starting fights with people. Jekyll and Hyde. Evil side. <laughs> And Nicola confronts Kim. Don't sound lied about you. Yes, you have. What have I said then? I will not rise to your bait. Now you're just looking like an idiot. You're looking Shut like up. the idiot. Shut up. You're a mum. Grow up. And you're not, and that's your problem. If you want to go lower, I'll go lower. Dear 20, 9.30am, it's Nominations Day. Like Last night, Nicola got upset about falling out with Spidey and chose not to sleep in the bed next to them. <laughs> this morning, Stacey has some advice on the situation. Now, I want to say this while we're all sober. And I'm going to say this very sensibly, Jessica, because I don't want to fight with anybody. I'm not up, up for that anymore. We are in a very good place. The best thing we can do is drop the subject. That's the best thing we can do. And I know it's difficult, but when we're drinking, the last thing somebody needs to do, and no offense, Jessica, but the last thing we need to do when drinking is start bringing up this feeling of how you feel, and it's just a bad idea. You're already ready to walk out the door. The last thing we want for to do is push you over the edge. And no offense, baby, but you're not the person to do that. Like, it's just not a good thing. And that's just where it is. So let's do our best. Do our best. It's all we can do. <clears throat> this chick can't be the one that's talking to you about it like that. It's just not OK. I'm not sure that she was upset. I just wanted to make sure she wasn't upset. That's what that was. Jessica, the last person that needs to be having that conversation with Nicola is someone who oh, barely God. knows her in the way that we rest of us do in this house. And I don't want to be disrespectful to you. I'm just speaking oh, truth. Sorry. You don't understand that. Nine fifty one AM. Heidi and Spencer are talking about their feud with Nicola. I feel bad she didn't sleep there last night. <laughs> so I said you can talk to her, it's all good. I'm yeah, just I'm just gonna be neutral with her. I don't want her to feel like she can't, you know. We're not like friends, but I'm not gonna yeah. Nicola and Colleen are discussing Stacy. But that was just completely and utterly not needed. Oh, God, just get me out. Well, that's what I thought. What, I thought. what happened? Well, Stacey starts off this lecture. Well, you know, can I just say, we need to drop this subject, and from now on... What subject? The whole Heidi and Spencer thing. Oh, she's coming. I don't be talking oh, to her. I don't be talking to her when she's had a drink and making her upset. Absolutely pointless. Ah, that's good. See, you're getting used to your weak tea. No, but it's... Uh, it's <laughs> no, sorry, I'm just dropping no, the bar there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Good it's morning. warm. Oh, are you? I'm all right. How are you doing? Great. Good. I wanted to tell you that... if we can, the best we can. You guys could just, you know, you could say... You could be cordial, right? <sighs> Babe, please. Please. If you think that I'll hold up a board for someone else and you can walk around the house, ignore me, make me feel uncomfortable, make me feel like I did yesterday and the night before, and you think 
that I'm going to allow that, then you <coughs> don't know me. One bit. I understand. The way I felt yesterday, no one's ever made me feel like that in my whole entire life. Okay. That's my own fault, because I shouldn't allow someone that I've only known for 21 days to make me feel like that. But they did. And if everyone in this house thinks that they're going to ignore me the way they're ignoring me, make me feel uncomfortable, have a passive-aggressive tone with me, turn other housemates against me, that I'm going to just ignore it and never speak about it again, then they're more deluded than I actually thought this house was. Because I am not a wallflower, never have been, never will be. If they want to treat one person that's never been, a ba never been bad to anybody in this house, like they did yesterday, and still want me to walk around and not say anything, go fuck yourself. That's it. I think you're done. duplicating what no, I'm saying. No, 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 I'm not. When I've had a drink, well, that's when I feel most comfortable because do you know what? I find shit hard, so hard. Okay. And what I felt yesterday, no one should feel. And I would never allow my own actions to I make someone sure. feel like that. Ten twenty four AM. Kim is in the storeroom. Oh, God, lovey. Smell terrible. Sorry, I had my things in there just for 15 minutes. It, it, What's it hasn't in there? Washed yet. I know, but I just took them out because it was empty. I want to come no, no, wash. No. I put my things into wash because they smell really badly. Well, cozy, but, oh. And it has not washed yet. I never. Like they're all wet and I'm ready to go. Well, should we just put them in for um, the wet ones? Just put them in for a 15-minute wash? And are then... they white? Are you white? As long as... White. Yeah, I'm going to get my... Thing. All right, my love. No, 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 stay. You can keep it there. No, we'll go away. We'll put the whites on the bottom inside with yours. No, okay. it'll die It'll die out. Oh, won't okay. go in, my love. Okay. You finish your bits off. Go on, and I'll no, do mine. No, it's not a big deal. Go ahead. All right. In the future, I think it would be best for everyone, so there's no fighting and misunderstandings, to oh, allow God. people's things that are there to stay there. Kind of awkward. Now, where's the soap, my loves? It's inside, because I prepped it when I came out. Well, look, look, all right, as long as you're happy, I'm sorry. Thank you very much. And do I just leave it now to finish? Will it it'll, be, it'll turn off in 15 minutes. Oh, thank you very much. Sorry. Right. No offence, meant. Thank you. Right, so the second has a door. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Before you catch the left hand, you get it? Move to the fucking saw, Stacey. Move to the fucking saw, okay? <laughs> Move to the Why? What's... Because this chick goes and she takes all my shit out and puts her shit in. Uh, like, just move right. to the fucking saw. Like, seriously. Like, Woo saw is like, be, be, be peaceful. Okay. Be peace. Woo saw. Be peace. Woo saw. Woo saw. Woo saw. Right. Like yeah, that. I didn't I know that. Like, to the <laughs> no, I said woo to the fucking sock because it was actually not woo sock. Yeah. <laughs> Coming up, Stacy kicks off. You can't come take somebody's shit out of the wash machine, put it on the floor, and put your stuff in and make yourself right about it. And then get mad at me if I'm around the house screaming about it because I have a right to. My shit was in there first. <laughs> Be prepared for highly offensive language throughout and aggressive confrontations and outbursts that may distress some viewers. Ten forty seven AM Stacy wants to talk to Kim about the washing machine. Kim, why is your thing have another twenty one minutes to go? No, I'm not. Look, can we clarify this? I went out because I know you're shouting all over the house. I'm yeah, I'm shouting all over the house no. because well, it was disrespectful. No, and no, I'm no, trying no, not to no. yell in your face because you're well, older than me and no, I'm trying to respect you. No, please do it because you've yelled all over the house. I'm you, yelling because it's well disrespectful. It I'm nobody, bringing it to you then. I'm bringing it to you then. Let me bring it to you. Yes, please do. When you go to the wash come machine... Come because you've done it all over the house. Come, come Right, here. okay, fine. When you go to the wash machine, yes, dear. it would make more sense to me if you came to everybody in the house and said, hey, there's things in the wash machine. Are they wet? Should they go in the dryer? Or should they fucking go on the floor? You put my stuff on the floor. If you, if you, you put it in the dryer. You say, to, you say to people out here, hey, is this stuff wet? Does it go in the dryer? No, Why would you I... put somebody's things on the floor? You just took it out of the wash machine if it was washed in yes. your mind. If yes. it was a nice, kind person, which I want to believe you are, you wouldn't have put it on the floor. You 
you would have taken it and put it in the dryer. But I'm just steaming for because it's just so disrespectful in this house. People are so disrespectful. And as soon as you pop off, it's oh, Stacy, snappy, she's rude. But I would never do that to your stuff. I would never take your stuff out of the washing machine, which is to get clean, and put it on the floor. You put my stuff on the floor. Well, there's nowhere else to push it out. There was good Jessica. Okay. No, the other place to put it. And is, I didn't think it. The wash. other thing to do is come in. You didn't think it was washed. That's worse. Well, I think it was because it's drying up. Too okay, so let me ask you this: If what? you thought it was dirty clothes, why yes. wouldn't you be considerate and wash it? And then take no, your no. turn. If obviously, if it's not clean, then it means that somebody's been in front of you to get their things washed. So you're just being selfish going, I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take your shit out. I don't care that it's not been washed and I'm gonna put my stuff in. You cannot make me wrong on this. You cannot say that I'm being irrational on this because that's disrespectful and it's not okay. It's disrespectful. We live in a house of freaking 13 people. You can't come take somebody's shit out of the wash machine, put it on the floor and put your stuff in and make yourself right about it. And then get mad at me if I'm around the house screaming about it because I have a right to. My shit was in there first. It's not okay. My it's dear, disrespectful I and it's not next. okay. You take my shit, you throw it on the floor, and you come in here fucking with people, calling them bitches, and then you go to stand there and act like you're such a sweetheart. Oh, I'm so sorry. And all of a sudden, you're fucking schizophrenic, two personality bitch, coming in here acting like something you're not. Don't fuck with me today. I'm done. And don't fuck with don't me. Fuck don't fuck with me today. So I am done. You you'll just got sorry. here. Yo, you can put a ball of wool in your mouth and wind it with both hands until I have room left. Stupid. Oh, God, I won't say it behind her back. I wouldn't do that. You need to calm down. No, I don't need to calm down. It. I don't need to calm down. Well, you need to fucking right. not talk to me I again. I would never don't have fucking this talk. that room. You I took my you, shit you, and you put it on the floor. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. It's disrespectful. Oh, it's not okay. Care. It's called help. It's called looking out for each other's backs because we live together. Instead of coming in here, calling somebody a little bitch, look, fucking... What fucking, has this got to do with the washing? Because you're trying. You're, you're, you're in here scrambling, scratching to survive at the fucking dismay of anybody in the house. You don't care about anybody else in this house. That's that's what it means. I and see. I don't like that. I see. It's not okay. Well, it's your opinion, and I... Fine. fine. My, I'm, I'm, I'm entitled to my opinion. You you're entitled to yours. Oh, I, I, well, fine. I'm glad you say that. Exactly. That you are. Content me. Have it. As soon as with Stacey, she says a point, then just go away and just leave it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a bit much, really, that, now, for me. That's the, that's the field she's playing in now. But I'm going to put a face on, because this face is um, not looking so great. I don't want to hear what she's saying. Thought if you won't shut your it. great big flapper, then I can, say nothing, I can say nothing to you. I can say nothing to you. To you, you can't say. You can't well, tell that, me what well, to do. You can't know, tell dear. me it's okay to put my shit on the floor. I will not argue you with can't. someone who's out of control. There is no point. You don't have to do that. There is no. There is no. If you have anything to say to me, stay regarding this. Would you kindly say it to me, not blab your big gob all over the house? Well, you weren't saying it to me. You walked in. That's right. You walked in, and I could hear you. Well, who can't hear you? You'd make a wonderful town crier. Dear Lord, what the hell is actually happening? No, I don't know. And when I thought about it, after I thought about it, after I thought don't about it, I don't know how fucking racket don't it was. Be two I'm not two-faced. Face. You can call me two-faced if you want. Well, you but I'll tell you one thing. You, I'm the sorry. people that have watched me on this show longer than you will know that Stacey Francis is not two-faced. I walked out. I said to you, you know what? It's cool, because I'm not going to be in there fighting the old lady. So I walked out, and I said, you know what? I fucking can't believe who's in the fucking saw. Now I'm a fucking Stacy trying to calm down. And as I got more and more thought about it, I'm so sorry. You didn't say that. That's what I said. I don't know if you can't say that. 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 Everything just gets so heightened to the next in this communication and I don't like to be like, so, you know, if it's okay with you, we could just move forward and move on. I love that, so, honestly, I know. So, alright, don't make me get it fun. Do you know what? You're too, as, the, as the Americans say, you're too tomato short of a salad, girl. So many girl. faces, so many personalities. I'm fucking calling my friend a little bitch one day, and the next time I'm kissing her fucking ass. Give me a break. Thank you. One forty-two p.m.
Bianca and Jamie are on the sofa. Oh, fucking hell. Just imagine how close we're going to be in 12 days' time if we got to the final. I know. It's like living with each other for a month. <laughs> I know. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah, it is crazy. It is really crazy. Like, the feelings. Mm. <sighs> yeah. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? You might as well just say it because you're doing it. I'm getting. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought you were saying a name. Sake. I know. Today's been really tough. Mm, I'm just like. <laughs> Colleen and GMC are talking about Spidey. There's a part of me, actually, yesterday when they were being so pathetic with that whole thing, there was a part of me that really wanted you to... not kick off like they all kick off, but I did really want you to tell them off yesterday. I don't see any point. They're just for me. <laughs> they're playing a game. <laughs> Absolutely, but I thought the way they were yesterday was just so bad. It was, yeah, but it's in here. Outside? Absolutely. Mm. I'll, I'll maybe do more than would be normal, <laughs> you know? The like, only reason I'm saying that is because I thought... Bite your fucking nose off. If they're going to... If they were going to listen to anyone, I think it... Not listen, but be nah, a bit like, nah, well, wouldn't nah, you? No, nah, they're here to play a game. Because in here, there can be no consequence. The thing is, outside, you wouldn't hang about with them. Well, outside, he wouldn't behave like that. No. Because he would be too frightened. To quote the title of the film, There Will Be Blood. <laughs> Six or two p.m. Jessica is giving Callum a massage. Getting all nerves in a heart massage, and you, Callum. <sighs> <laughs> oh fuck it. Oh. Oh cute. <laughs> Showing your real emotions there. Get rid of it. Mm, yes, I feel real good. <laughs> mm, yeah, get rid of it. Oh my that. god. Oh yeah. Get Where in there. am I? <laughs> I can't believe you're just treating me like that. Just a piece of meat. Oh, that's what you are. <laughs> I'm joking. Or am I? In the garden, Stacey is getting to know James C. OK, so I see you. I feel you are a man of character and mor morality and integrity and all of these Thank elements you. that I admire. Thank you. So I'm curious to know as you grew up or as you went through life or whatever it was, what was it that you held on to that created that in you? Or was it just your parenting or...? No, no, um, because the majority of my life, mm -hmm. uh, until I met my wife, mm -hmm. uh, I was not in a good place. OK. You know? OK. I was... Uh, I was not a good man. I've been violent in the past. Mm. When I met my wife, that changed. And then when my son came along, ah. that changed everything. Got it. Because I understood what I was here for. Yes. And getting to my age gives you a sort of... Um, perspective yes of course on how life should be lived mm. and mm. what what the important things are you know because I see the challenge of what Spencer is doing and your the way you're maintaining your yourself and your character and you're not breaking I, I admire that because mm. you know I'm, I'm breaking I'm going crazy on a lady who's putting my stuff on the floor you know it's like it's mm. just it's just admirable I'm very aware of, of what my family think of me. Yes. And what they would expect from me. Absolutely. Those are my guidelines. Yes, I understand. Know. I won't be like the old me. No. Right. Good for you. Not gonna happen. Good for you. Yeah. 
coming up, Nicola and Kim clash again. What have I said that is a lie? Do you really think I'm going to respond to what you're saying? Well, no, because you can't, because you're a fucking liar. Be prepared for offensive language and aggressive confrontations that may distress some viewers. Nine twenty-three p.m. Earlier today, housemates were called to the diary room to give their nominations. Big Brother has gathered housemates at the sofas for a surprise. As Heidi and Spencer are eternally nominated and GMC was given immunity, neither of them can be nominated. What the housemates don't know is that anyone who receives just one nomination will face a public vote. It's time to reveal the results of this week's nominations. <laughs> Housemates should face the screen. Nah. Oh, that was good. I forgive everyone. Oh, yeah. good. Yes. I love you all. Our first nomination is for Colleen because she is the closest to James in the house and was initially taking his side on his eternal nomination. I feel she's a little two-faced. Every time I see Colleen sitting outside smoking with James, it infuriates me because that is somebody who I couldn't hate more, and but you know, guilt by association type feeling. So I look at it, her as just one of his spies, one of his pawns, one of his little puppets. Our second nomination is for Nicola because I thought she was our biggest friend and supporter in the house, but when it came time to pick who she wanted for eternal immunity, she chose Colleen over us. Nicola definitely broke what's left of Spidey's CBB hearts in here. And even your biggest supporter is just playing you. Your alleged biggest supporter. I totally understand. You'll see that it's not the case, but I totally, 100% agree. My first nomination is Kim. Kim came in with some kind of game plan of just being aggressive with everyone instantly and then literally two days later turned into Snow White. And I don't get it. I feel that everything she says and does isn't the real Kim. I don't know who Kim is, really. I just don't think she fits in, in the house. My second nomination is Jedward. And I feel really, really bad because... I'm sorry, I do feel bad. They're quite sweet, but they're just so bizarre. <laughs> you can't have a true conversation with them because they don't really listen. And then a few times I've heard them being nasty about people. Never. So while they come across as sweet, I think there's also a... Evil side. ...bit of a nasty side to them as Yeah, well. in the bed. And I don't like it. Hey, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Guys, it is what it is. Like, it is. It, honestly. My you know, first know. nomination is Kim. Uh, she has kept to herself. She doesn't make much of an effort uh, to communicate with people. She dislikes most of the other housemates, especially the younger ones. She's rather condescending to them. She fired her bolt when she first came in and we've seen nothing since. My second nomination is Jedward. Uh, the reasons for this are their excessive uh, food consumption, the lack of consideration for other housemates and their continuous performance which goes on every minute they're awake and it sometimes becomes irritating. It's all right there. Well, you can get someone else to do your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Our first nomination is Stacy because there's only so much screaming you can hear and she's always screaming. I feel Stacy, no matter what it is, even if it was that small, she will make it into the biggest thing possible and make it into something that it never was. She doesn't just let things go. There's so much tension in the house that no one needs to put up yeah, with this. What affects me is seeing her walking around one minute, she's like, and the next minute she's like, ah! and the next minute she's like, Rrr! she's up and down like a yo-yo and she's very inconsistent. <laughs> Our second nomination is Nicola. She's always, trying to start fights with us, or when you try to like say your point, she always overlaps it like, 
will you listen to me? And it's just like, a lot of stuff going on in the house. There's always a tension. I feel like any second she could lash out at us. I just feel like she's like a ringleader in the house. And I feel her, she, she never let us in to this whole ring of gang. And it's just really weird because I never fully feel I get the full Nicola. A lot of big words were used there. They were actually, it's very impressive. Yeah. I got an A in English. Guys, it's all cool, guys. It's something we don't know, it's all good. Yeah, it's pretty it's all good. good. No, it's not good. My first nomination is Kim. I'm nominating Kim because although she seems to have taken a snow white pill and turned into the sweetest woman oh, in the world, so the way she entered the house and the things that she said about my children not being proud of me is not acceptable for me and I haven't got over it. You're just fake and playing a game and I don't like it when people are fake. My second nomination is Jedwards. They cause me a lot of stress within the house. They make snide comments behind my back. They just make me feel uncomfortable at times. Sometimes I really enjoy them, but if I'm gonna pick someone that I want to live with, it wouldn't be them. My first nomination is Kim. Uh, I don't like her. Uh, the way she spoke to me when we had an argument and the things she said, I just didn't fucking like it. Um, it wasn't how I want to be spoken to and it's not how I want to be seen. I felt like she used the personal information to get at people. The way she come into the house and picked on the, the girls, I thought was shocking. My second nomination is Jessica. I feel awkward around her. The conversation's awkward. She makes me feel a bit uncomfortable with the way she talks and the way that she acts. And I feel like she wants to get involved in everything and she wants to be a part of everything. And I feel like she's here to win. She I wants to win. to win. More than anyone. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm good. Stay that way. You stay that way. So my first nomination is Stacey. Sometimes we can have a real giggle, she can be really fun. But then other times I feel like she's watching me and it makes me feel uncomfortable. So my second nomination is Jamie. The <laughs> reason behind know. it, there have been a couple of occasions where he's made a snide comment to Fine, me bud. in front of people and it's just made me feel really stupid, uncomfortable and goofy. God, oh, you feel better when it's over, don't you? Dear Lord! My first nomination is Kim. Kim came in very aggressive, starting fights with people, which made me feel uncomfortable. And now Kim has changed her personality completely, which leaves me confused to what her motives are and what her real personality is. My second nomination is Jedward. Because he got better hair. I find Jedward are super defensive when you try to have a conversation with him. Constructive criticism or any sort of answer back they don't like, they kind of don't listen or don't know how to take it. And I find sometimes they can be a little bit sneaky and I f I'm feeling they're kind of teaming up with Heidi in ways to make sure that they have some Ooh. form of power in the house, which I think Alleged is a bit of sneaky gameplay a little bit. Guys, She's honestly, if you know what I mean, or said to I don't think So it's my good. first nomination is Kim, purely for the fact of coming in and being mistrunchable straight away, <laughs> being really mean, calling us younger girl bitches. But she is being lovely to me now, so I don't know whether she's gonna be this really lovely person or this really mean person. So my second nomination is Jedward. Um, it's just that they don't, can't take any criticism and you're just trying to help them and they just won't have any of it and they just get super, super defensive. I get it. We're defensive. But is there any it's other reason? Boys. My first nomination is Jessica. We've had about three rows already because every time I try to speak to her about things that maybe she doesn't feel comfortable with, she gets very combative. And I feel like she's coming in, she's giving everybody massages, she's doing her <laughs> happy, go lucky, whatever dance she's doing, and she's like trying to get into like people's hearts, and that's fine, but in all fairness, how could a newcomer come in here when we just went through 10 days of hell, and she's coming in like, Ooh, let me give you a massage, let me make you feel better, let me, let me, you know, and it's just like, come on, it's just unfair. On that my second nomination is Kim, and the reason that I vote Kim um, is similar to Jessica, they just got here, and I feel like Kim is very insensitive, she went to the washing machine today, and she pulled out the clothes that were in the washing machine and put them on the floor, it's just a big indicator of how inconsiderate and disrespectful she is to everybody in the house and her excuse is always well everybody's not gonna always get along and no 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 but we're helping each other we're trying to get through this together we're helping each other 
I'm tired of walking around on egg shells. I'm tired if I have to speak to her. I, I've got to watch what I say, because I, I, I know she can fire up. I, I don't want to be with somebody who, uh, you're thinking as you're walking up to them, watch what you say, Kim. Words it like baby talk. I'm afraid I don't want to do it. There's no excuse for it. She's a, she's a grown woman. Uh, and this touchiness, it wears you down. My second nomination is Nicola. We've never got on. She has lied about me. She has tried her best to have the leading role here and have her boys and girls around her in order to turn people against me. She's made things up that I haven't said. She's got some lovely qualities. I'm not going to say she hasn't. But what I've been through with her, I don't want to go through it again. I never saw a girl who has got such lovely ways but could be a monster when she starts. I'd call her Jekyll and Hyde, so I'd like her to go. Kim, do you want to tell me what I've lied about? Well, no, I don't have to discuss it with you. No, you don't have to. I'm asking no, you, would you like no, to? No, I don't have to discuss Because you haven't got anything to say. Well, no, this is I... vote, so we'd have to take it on the chin. No, no I'm happy. I knew well, thank you... you very much. That's fine. It's no I'm problem. I'm taking it on the chin, and I hope no you're going to do the same. No, it's no problem. I'm right? asking you what I've lied about, because I haven't. Please do not say I've lied about you. I've said because it. Because never I stand once. By it. Go on then. Say it. Tell no, me what no, I've lied I've about. I've gone in and vote. I've entitled Tell to me vote. What I will I've not... lied about. I don't have to discuss the you vote don't with have you. To. Take it on the chin, it's a vote. I don't but it's not about the vote. Am I am it's I about the vote. Am I questioning your decision? I but you are by asking me there? why. I don't give a fuck. Well, then what shut I'm saying up, then. to you is, then shut up, don't then. don't say I've lied about you because never once have I lied about you. I've said Yes, you have. You, what have I said then? I'm not going to discuss it because with you. Because you have nothing to say. You're not worth saying anything to. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Truly. Back up you're, your opinion. No, I don't have to, darling. You don't have to. I don't ask but you to back you're... up what you said about me. Well, I'll not, back it up. Because it's your opinion. I'll back it up. You've never got this, have I could you? back it up. I have never once lied about you. Everyone's yes, seen you have, it for actually. themselves. Go on then, tell me when. No, I will not get you withdrawn discussion with you because you're a liar. No. What? Have I said that is a lie? Do you really think I'm going to respond to what you're saying? Well, no, because you can't, because you're a fucking liar. You walked into this house wanting a row. How many times have I heard have this? Have one. Get one. Let's row. I will not rise to your bait. We didn't rise I... to your bait, and that's your problem. Do you know if you liked me, I'd be mortified, because I think you are the biggest fraud that I've ever met. Really? So I'm glad you don't like me. I'm glad. But what I won't take is you saying that I'm a liar. Where because let me tell you something now. I'm Never. entitled to my opinion. Facts. Be a woman and take it on the chin. Be a woman and take it on the chin. Of course, it's votes. What, that I'm a liar? I will not enter into a conversation in no, a room full of people because you that's know what... what you want and it's, it, I'm not going to do it. This is Big Brother. This week, all housemates who received at least one nomination will face the public vote. All housemates, apart from Callum, Bianca and GMC, will therefore face the public vote. Oh, it's a lot, isn't it? Coming up, Spencer is on the warpath. A shit-ass friend of yours that says he's an actor? I'm glad you're not pretending. Oh, what, the A-list actor? I've never seen an A-list movie with him since the 90s. Be prepared for highly offensive language and aggressive confrontations and outbursts that may distress some viewers. <laughs> 9 55 p.m. Nicola oh, is venting lie. after her earlier argument with Kim. Don't she fucking lie once in this no, house. She said everything about you being a bad mom in the live face to face nomination. You all heard it. Yeah, I didn't have yeah. to tell you. I no. didn't have to come back and go, yeah, do you know no. what Kim just said to oh, me when she we argued? Screamed it. Where are your, chi where are your children? And then do you know what she said to me? And I'll tell you exactly what she's like, the motherfucking little bitch. I said to her, you said to me that my kids wouldn't be proud. That's, some, that's some, a level you don't go to. And she said, oh, no, dear, I didn't say that. What I said was, Nicole, you're swearing. Would your kids want to hear you swearing? No, you didn't. And my fucking kids won't hear me fucking swearing because they don't fucking watch Big Brother, I fucking dickhead. <laughs> fucking liar. 
Liar. Tell everyone how I'm a liar, Kim. Tell them. Tell everyone how I'm a liar. You're a liar, you're a fraud, you're a liar, and you couldn't keep up your hype, and now you're just looking like an idiot. No, Fact no, you about liar. You truthfully liar. are looking like you're looking up. like the idiot. Shut up. You're looking like the idiot. I have I'm never looked like an idiot in this house because I've been truthful. I accept yeah, the votes. Except the votes because I don't like you, but I have never lied about yes, you. Have. you. Yes, you I have. haven't. I haven't needed to. You've sealed your own fate. <laughs> liar. You stupid little woman, honestly. How did I seal my own fate? Don't be so silly, Nicola. Now you're not making sense at all. Callum is explaining okay, to John to why he nominated G. Edward. Wait, that's yeah. all I could find. That's fine. Because I enjoy fine. talking with you guys. Yeah, of course. Okay, but, cool. Yeah, it's fine. Because I don't dis... I like you guys. We have great chats, but I have to keep... Oh, sorry. Yeah, you I have, have to stick to, with so, something yeah, yeah, that I know definitely. is silly. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway. This is so silly. No, you're silly. This shouldn't bother you're you at rude. all. What's been said about... I'm not bothered that you nominated me. I'm not I'm not liked, but it's your opinion. But a liar, though. So, please. But a liar. You are a liar. But a liar? Yes, absolutely. What have I lied, then? I'm sorry. What have I lied about? If I can rise and say all the votes I've had, nothing against any of you, you must do the but same do people thing. Lie Grow up. You? You're do a people mum. Lie Grow about up. You? You're Don't a... bring in my kids You're again. You're a mum. Grow up. And you're not, and that's your problem. <laughs> and that's your problem. So if you want to go As lower, I'll said... go lower. But my love... Don't talk to me again. I know. Done. That. Not interested. Swim not swim not then will interested. You stop talking to me. Shut you up. started it. Shut, Shut up. Shut up. Baby, Shut up. Well, don't, don't speak. To shut me. up. And you shut up. Shut liar. up. Thank you. Eleven or four p.m. After hat. nominating Colleen earlier, Spencer is on the wind up. Colleen, I'm really hurting that I'm the only one that put you up. I'm not bothered. But You're Colin's most bothered? voted, most loved. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, hopefully you're yeah, crying. Yeah, everyone's safe. Yeah, we'll see if they still care about you this week. They probably won't. That's oh, the game. Yeah. You should know. You're expert at it, although you've been wrong maybe on every occasion, so maybe you've lost your way week. in the game. Maybe your sister spent all her money on you last week. Four, no. four sisters. It was your daughter. Oh, you got... And two brothers. Oh, we got the whole family. And now maybe they're family. rotating. Three kids. Oh. You got the bank. Jim C is in the diary room talking about Spidey. They put on this, you know, dreadful people act uh, and then try and divide the house against me. I don't know what goes on in the head. They're not very bright. Um, but I realise that, you know, the professional reality people um, and... This is what they do, you know, it's a cynical decision. I find it hard to uh, rationalise that sort of behaviour uh, with any sort of moral or ethic, but um, some people are like that. I just wanted you to know that I've never pretended. Well, I genuinely like you. Well, your acting sucks. So I'm glad you're just like a host of some panel show or whatever. I'm glad, because if you were an actor like that... I'd never be an actor. That shit-ass friend of yours, that shit-ass friend of yours that says he's an actor, I'm glad you're not pretending. Oh, what, the A-list actor? I've never seen an A-list movie with him since the 90s. I think Braveheart came in like 97, Game 90. Of Thrones. That's not as a TV show. You can't be A list on a TV show. I think you'd have to be to be in that. His own men killed him. You are Why do you think his own men you killed him on that show? Why do you think they all just stabbed him? I think because it was in the script. Uh, no, I think they knew his character really? and they were like, he should be stabbed by all of us. So really? if there was ever a scene that seemed genuine in his career, that they was the one. They stabbed him in the heart, not in the back. No, I think they all stabbed him straight in the face where yeah, he well, deserved that's more it. Honest. Yeah. Yeah. 12.58 a.m. It's also important to make a, a line between how we feel and, and how you feel and not to take on too much 
how we feel. Yeah, and at the end of the day, I never will be able yeah. to do that. And, and it's a compliment to you that we reacted so emotionally because what you did is me. only heightened in this house. In the real world, this but is madness. But just know you're gonna get out of no. here and you're gonna watch no. me in the dining room. We you believe you're being Look, true. Though. And that's I why I came to you. I, that's, I agree. And I that's why this up. morning all, I turned over good. to Spencer. <laughs> she didn't sleep next to us. I was really sad. It's really okay. stupid. <laughs> it's just so stupid. We Let's have help. a group hug. Why do we care? Let's have a group hug with Nick. Really? Come on. Come on. Oh my god, this is my whole entire life. I'm doing it. All right, we love so you. sorry. We're so sorry to to put you through that. Yeah, we need help. We're so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go together? Yeah. Can we go together? Oh Colleen's had enough. <sighs> United. Oh, I'm just so over people. Yeah, I know. Fucking hell. I'm living with absolute fucking lunatics. And you have to sit here and just swallow it all. And I can do it more for me than I can for you. But I won't let that piece of shit say what you were saying. It, in fact, so pathetic and from someone so talentless that it's hysterical. Do you know what I mean? Because mm. I think, why am I getting upset about... A talentless piece of shit yeah. having a go at somebody so talented. Yeah. I think Colleen just so up James C's butt. She doesn't even know what her last name is. She's like, he's so grand. He's a A-lister. You're the most famous one in here. You're in a movie. I'm gonna sit next to you. All oh, my loose women friend would love that I'm with the actor. It's like, come on now. How does it feel knowing who will now be joining you in facing the public vote? The house is getting a little hot. It's fine when we're up for eternal nomination and, oh, we're overreacting. But now everyone is, and they're a little upset. So it's kind of fun to see, like, mmm, it's not so easy when it's you, is it? Never in our wildest dreams did we think we'd be hit with an eternally nominated death sentence so we already had a lapse of gameplay and that won't happen again and i dare you to come for us we don't care we've already been there we're nominated to the finals if we stay here so good luck wham 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 oh are you gonna nominate us on friday <gasps> too late this is the point where the game turns up and everyone really reveals themselves so let the games begin now this week Colleen, Heidi and Spencer, Jimmy, Jedward, Jessica, Kim, Nicola and Stacey all face the public vote. Who steers, you decide. From a landline, call 090 204424 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. From a mobile, call 64424 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. For Colleen, add or six. For Heidi and Spencer, add or seven. For Jimmy, add ten. For Jedward, add twelve. For Jessica, add seventeen. For Kim, add eighteen. For Nicola, add thirteen. For Stacey, add fifteen. Calls to the long number will cost 50p plus your network access charge. Calls to the short number will cost 50p. Voting closes in Tuesday's eviction show. Votes cast after lines close won't count. If you watch you on catch up after that or outside the UK, please don't vote. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. Oh, it's good to have Kim back on fighting form, isn't it? Glam grannies and mums who are hotter than their kids. The whole family is in on the act as our new series begins next on Channel 5.